this thing on. We just got finessed. Day one in Ghana. It's 11 o'clock. <laughs> just getting home now. Hey girl! <laughs> 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 Are you guys coming to get me? Yeah, we were looking yeah. for you. <laughs> Scrambled egg is hilarious. Just no meat. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I, I just think an egg is crazy. <laughs> so we're not getting no eggs. <laughs> no, bitch, we're not getting the eggs. Give it up. I will make the eggs. It's not like. We just got finessed. <laughs> We're so serious. And then look at the other two. <laughs> Princess and Nikki. Did y'all get in touch with the man? <laughs> I don't think this is crazy. Let me know. Okay, we literally booked a driver, right? And it's only nobody's fault but our own. So basically, day one in Ghana, we booked the driver, and literally, um, he asked for the entire payment up front, which is dumb, right? Don't don't judge us. We have multi-millionaires in the room. We have people with masters. We were there nurses that save lives. So don't judge us, but. We gave him the money up front. It was twelve hundred dollars USDs. It was hella money setties, like whatever. So we gave him the money up front. Rule number one: if you're paying for anything that's over a duration of time, pay daily. Do not pay up front. But yeah, so now he's not answering the phone, and <laughs> he has our money. And at first, he, at first he was very responsive. Now he's giving very much. He scammed us. How do you come to the country of scamming? and get willingly scammed. It's crazy. Like, we're on serious though. <laughs> because I'm like, we're, I'm like, we're, we're like another shot. Exactly, it's nothing we can do. Like, we'll, we just, right. we'll, we'll be okay. Like, I'm actually gonna blast this on Instagram. So, yeah. Ready? 
Yeah. 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 Mm. Well, you lose some, you win some. That's all I can say. I know I can lie. I Okay, we are heading out to dinner. How are you feeling? True confessional. This is your first confessional. Um, tell me how you're feeling, girl. Um, I feel really cute. That's a plus, but I feel Let's played. See Let's see the fifth first. Period. Okay. <laughs> but I truly feel played. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I know what you told me to do, but I can't. I know what you told me to do, but I cannot do it right now. She's a little emotional right now, y'all. On to the next, princess. <laughs> How are you feeling? Violated. <laughs> so violated. Violated is crazy. Yeah. Hope, how, come out here and tell us how you're feeling. Everybody okay. feels <laughs> away. Okay, honestly, I, I do feel away. But we were stupid in what we did. Yeah. So, in our reality, I just feel like you lose some, you win some, and truly, we are just with degrees. There's no way possible. No way. No way possible that we no have way. degrees, we have millions, we have businesses. Like, what is happening? Like, how did we, get how did we get bamboozled and played? So, <laughs> it can happen hope. to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> We're okay. here to tell our story. Hope, how do you feel? <laughs> um. You know, I feel like we could have done better. I feel like we allowed the exhaustion to take over and now here we are, <laughs> late as shit. And I'm hungry and it's not looking like we're headed to dinner. So. Hopefully we can make a turn for the better, y'all. Um, yeah, kind of disappointed in us, I'm not gonna lie, but. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ghana, Ghana won. Ghana, day one. Let's see if we can Let's turn it around. pick it up, pick it up, turn it around. Okay, see y'all soon, bye. Hey, our name is Stupid, <laughs> and we just got finessed. We did. Finessed and Ghana. Finessed and stressed. Literally, we are the most educated. Are we stupid? No, obviously not. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think our my degree, degree my degree didn't get me too far because I gave a foreigner all my cash. Everything These I had. her brothers too. She got me in. <laughs> Literally, my cousins and them. Rob, <laughs> you ever been robbed by your own they family? They you blind, babe. Right up on Betrayal is crazy. Don't worry about it. You know, I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna pounce on them. <laughs> no, we're not fighting men. I, I just every time I think about it, I'm like, this is gonna go really bad. I'm gonna pounce on them. <laughs> like I said, I'm a pounce on them, and if you ain't there, I mean, I have to be there. That's why I'm like, let's avoid this. I don't want to do it. I, don't I, have, I actually have to be there. Day one in Ghana. <laughs>
The events that happened last night is unacceptable for the rest of the time. <laughs> we have seven more nights. It's just seven. So well, I say all of this to say <laughs> prepare for the rest of the trip because it's gonna get crazy. So, <laughs> night one, night one. Um, I woke up and I didn't know what happened, but I was in the bed, so that's, that's good. That's the first good time. You know, we did okay. And we made it home. That's the important part. The night was really great though. I think the key in Africa is you have to continuously drink water. Um, good vibes, you gotta be in a good mood. Stay one, all good. I don't remember shit though, so thank God for my friends. Peace out. Hey y'all. So we're currently on day two of Ghana. Day one was kinda crazy. I had to be the sober one, which I do not feel good about. Everybody was belligerently drunk. I had to take care of them. Low key kind of ruined my night at one point. I forget them. <laughs> we cool now. We did not get in until 7 a.m. The light was outside. But when I say we had a time, y'all, a match. Day one, us zero. Keep watching. Good morning, guys. We are day two in Ghana. Um, we're heading to our makeup appointment. I'm super excited. Um, so far, so good. When I tell y'all, time is an illusion out here. It's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, we got home at 7 a.m. and now we're back up at 11 to get our makeup done. So, wish us luck for today. Walking the streets of Africa is kind of insane. Um, yeah, but here's my car. <laughs> Our driver's here. Hi, Yusuf. Um, yeah, so I'm going alone. Don't try this at home. To go pick up our VVIP bands for Africa. Chill up. The door was heavy. Okay, so hopefully I make it back to my girls. Oh. They're, making an appointment. They're not coming yet. We're coming back to get them. Hopefully I make it back to my girls to get them. <laughs> because y'all, we're on a journey. If y'all can see my hair right now, it's crazy. It is December 27th. It's a Wednesday. We are here in Accra, Ghana. And we are going out for our second night in a row. We have about five more nights after this. Um, yesterday we did our big one and we went out with a bang or came in with a bang and I just want to continue that so for tonight I think that Hope Wiseman I am Hope so dope something like that is her Instagram she's gonna be the drunkest tonight for sure by far um, Princess is gonna call our driver to come take her home at some point tonight um, and Queen and I are going to be running away from all the men that are going to be following us. That's pretty much how the night's going to go. Um, I'll let you know how it really goes though. Alright guys, I think tonight Queen is going to be the drunkest. The first person to go home will definitely be me because Queen is going to annoy me.
Hey guys, so we are on day three in Accra, Ghana, and I'm having such an amazing time. Yesterday was so much fun. Literally, when I say we went to so many different places, so many different events, um, definitely a vibe. We ended our night at this place called Polo Beach Club, which is like basically a place to go. So if you come to Ghana, make sure you end your night at Polo Beach Club because it is a vibe. And today we're going to a networking event called Sip and Slay. Our friend is actually speaking. So for the most part, it's an all white event. As y'all can see, I have my all white on. And yeah, we're very late, it's like four hours late actually. So we're about to head there now. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be super cute. I cannot wait to go. And I'll update you all when we get there. second year coming we're gonna have such a ball we're nowhere near drunk right now so we shall see how it goes Say for yourself. No. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking part. It's eleven o'clock. <laughs> Just getting home. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't even know where to start. Okay, so let's start at the festival. First off, it was so much traffic getting there. We ended up having to like literally like jump out of the car. Our driver didn't <laughs> want us to get out. But we just like tucked them off. We just said whatever. <laughs> we got off the car. Um, we run through that and 
you know, how do we get to the v VIP area? We realize that we have to like walk across the entire other side of the entire venue. It was a long walk. We get inside, we're all good. We have actual bands, no finessing, none of that, you know? So we're actually official. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, where do we start? Uh, okay, actually shout out to Abdul, real dog. All in all, the vibes for Afrofuture was absolutely more than I anticipated. Um, so, 10 out of 10 for me for Afrofuture. That was day one. And then the, the real fun began. <laughs> okay, so, so, first, okay, Queen, all of a sudden, right? She's just like, hmm, do you see this right here? We're like, what? We don't see anything. Three big ass walls on my girl's side of her face. Like, and we're like, what the fuck? Like, how do we handle this right now? We did what we had to do. We went to a pharmacy. We got her prednisone. We got her Tylenol. We got her ice packs. Mm -hmm. Patched this girl up. Had to take a four hour nap. And <laughs> nonetheless, we get into front back. Her, Keep in mind, packed. Queen is in the car, snocked out. This is about <laughs> yeah. four hours of work. Oh yeah, we're 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 hopping, we're hopping, hopping. we're hopping, popping. Definitely yeah. checking in on our girl. And she's yeah. Like, and Queen's a girl's days. girl, so she's like, hell no, like y'all not stopping the fun. Like, leave my ass in the car. Bring y'all asses to the club and do what it gotta do. Make her proud. We made her proud. We made her so proud. We made her proud. Especially very proud. Uh, okay y'all, so despite makeup, my eyes are swollen. As you all can see, um, it's definitely swelling. Uh -huh. Y'all, what the fuck am I going to do? Oh my God, look at my eye. Fuck! I'm literally trying not to fucking panic. I'm trying not to fucking panic. Calm down, calm down. Okay, I'm wearing some glasses tonight, but if this does not go down by tomorrow, I'm going to be devastated. I'm gonna be devastated. Okay guys, so I am heading out day two of Afro Future. I'm super excited. I'm leaving out by myself because as I showed y'all previously, I got a slight allergic reaction. So um, it took me a little bit longer to get ready. But neither here nor there, my outfit is so cute y'all. Let me get a quick look at it. Well, a cool little Loewe Bay jean bralette on. Super cute with some Loewe shades. And then I have a high slit skirt on. Sorry y'all for the angle. And then for now, I have some YSL sandals. Um, I will be switching into heels throughout the night, but for the festival, I'm going to keep on sandals. But yes, y'all, yesterday was pretty crazy, but I can't even go into depth about anything that happened yesterday. Right now, I'm trying to rush to the festival. I'm gonna have so much fun. Cannot wait to share with you all the amazing memories that we are making. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a vibe, like period. <laughs> day one was crazy, and I know day two is going to be even crazier. So okay, y'all, y'all said y'all wanted to know me very real, personal, transparent, and here we are. I'm headed to the concert with rollers in my head because the heat out here in Ghana is crazy. It's literally crazy. Like you walk outside and all your hard work of curling and winding is gone. So I chose to do my little flips in the front, keep my flexi rods in the moment I hop out to the concert. And then when I hop out to the concert and I pull up and I say, hey to everybody, you know, my curls are gonna still be popping. Now, whether they're gonna look like an hour from now, I will show y'all. Um, it's gonna give real like wavy vibes, but if you come to Ghana, please don't try to come here with your bust down 30 inch metal part. Your hair will sweat out. And I'm not gonna say get braids because I'm not a braid girly, like that's not me, girl. But I will say get something that is going to deal with heat and be very, uh, I don't know, like heat resistant. So now I'm going to get my hair done tomorrow. I'm super excited to get it done. Um, what hair style can I get that's going to deal with this heat? Like the heat is insane. Well, so y'all, I'm so embarrassed and I'm kind of tipsy. I just got out the car with those rollers in my head. So people are like looking at me and I'm like, bro, why are they looking at me? Like I know I'm cute and all, but damn. They were looking at me because I have fucking flexi rods in the front of my hair. My fucking driver didn't tell me. That's crazy. Okay. Let me figure out my way and I'll be back. This one I got to do I know who I be I just want my peace Big money day. I go get everything I 
We hired our makeup artist, she came through, she did all of our makeup, slayed us to the gods. I will tag her below because she's here every December for Afrochella, Afrofuture. I was a little bit behind in my day. My friends went ahead and went to the concert and I had our driver come back to get me. We got there, vibes on vibes, and it was such an amazing concert. I think we're on day four, mm -hmm. her and Ghana. Um, the days are literally running together. We're out by 5 p.m. and I'm back until at least 11 a.m. And Ghana has so, no sense of time. Time yeah. is like an illusion here. It's, it's kind of crazy. Not a thing. So overall, are you having like a good time on the trip? How do you feel like the vibes are? Like, okay, first of all, love our vibe. This group here, I thought it was like cool with us three last mm -hmm. year. Hope was a great addition to this. Great addition. Like, like awesome addition. I think we all mesh well. The inside jokes just last freaking forever. <laughs> I'm having a grand time, actually. Yay! <laughs> we have a friend. We have I a guest have, star. We have a guest star here. <laughs> so everyone, y'all may not ever see her, but this is my twin sister princess. Say hey girl. Hey guys. Right. What was the highlight of the trip for you? Uh, definitely Polo Beach Club. Just because we stay there all night. The DJ's great. The food was good, so definitely say Polo Beach. So I let the people see your outfit. Got Dolce & Gabbana purse, the matching heels. Hold on, hold on, bring it up. Them. There we go. Yeah. Earrings, pretty Nova. Oh, pretty Nova. <laughs> pretty Nova. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Peace out. Okay, say hey, girl. Hey, healthy, look gorgeous. Stand up, princess. We already had it before, so I was having to try it. Hey, man. Okay, tell the people, hey.
Hey guys, my eye looks so much better. Um, and I'm outside with a bonnet on because I don't know, I look crazy. But I'm going to the hair salon right now to get my hair done. So that should be an interesting um experience we shall see i kind of want the girl to do like an updo because today is new year's and i just want something that's not going to be on my shoulder so we shall see what the vibes are and what it gives because your girl cannot do this heat like the heat is just so much so we'll see how my hair comes out but i'm having such a good time y'all like such a good time like, i cannot even explain to you all how fun it's been um, i've been trying to get all the footage and really you know have y'all see how ghana is um how fun it is the reason that you all should come here vacation all the things so come with me to that hair salon Where's it at? East Lagoon. East Lagoon. Far East Lagoon. So accommodating. Waiting for you. Yep. They're waiting for you. The so best, the best, next December, yep. Yep. pull up. Yep. <laughs> so this is my friend Amelia. You know, first guest. Uh, first guest of the confessionals. Your first impression of the group. Oh, that's good. Okay, honestly, this is good. This is good. <laughs> I'm not. I am a girl's girl. Like I could definitely see myself like hanging around this group. So. Okay guys, so we're doing one of our confessionals pretty late, but we cannot let this confessional go to waste. So I just want to talk about my most fun night, and my mm -hmm. most fun night was PBO. When I tell y'all, 
And I'm like, that was your most okay. fun? Okay. Yeah. I mean, it was. <laughs> it was, it was, I think that's number two for me, but yeah. Yeah, great so. Night. For me, I think it was because we were all cute, dressed up, we had our makeup done, our sequins, New Year's outfits, and we just were vibe. When I tell you the moment we stepped in, we kind of got there pretty late, probably like 11.40, because we wanted to make sure we were there before the ball dropped, but yeah. when I tell y'all the moment the countdown went off, it was like vibes, bottles, beautiful Fireworks. black people, fireworks yeah. it was just amazing energy um i definitely cannot wait until the next pbo party because that set the tone for the events this year yeah. i don't think a party can top pbo so far what you think definitely not i mean they have like anyone that you can think of they're at the party everyone's vibing everyone's having a good time doesn't really matter if you're in a section in general admission doesn't matter everyone's having a good time and there's like a lot of activations and experiences so it's not just like the party um it's a lot to do i mean shout out to the pbo guys yes definitely dio and chi shout out to y'all the you. music was great when i say afro beats american music because you know we're not the girlies that know how to really dance no. to that afro we, we're gonna practice. we're gonna come up with the eight count though because mm -hmm. we're gonna get better yeah, the rhythm is not rhythmic but well for me anyway you yeah, got some little, yeah you got some we came up with a me. we came up with a little a little a little uh -huh. <laughs> a little but next year we'll be back and better but for the most part they definitely was mixing the music up which we appreciate it and me and my girls like we came to slay like y'all see the real over here and when i tell y'all our outfits gave what they needed to give they called us the ghana all-stars All <laughs> i'm gonna hold that title proudly yes but in the meantime we had such a great time at pbo we cannot wait until next year we cannot wait to do it again yes. and happy new year's happy new year's Hey y'all, so I'm actually alone today in this confessional and I look crazy. It's currently January 1st, day six, I think in Ghana. And y'all, like today has been crazy. Like I've been so sick, throwing up, doing other things. Um, literally exhausted, I've not ate all day because I physically cannot hold anything in. And it's been very embarrassing. So I have been in the house, my girls are outside, the next couple of clips, you'll see them. They came by to just check on me because they went out to eat, then they went to a mansion party. And now they're going to uh, Front Back, which is basically a really popular club out here that's like kind of outdoor, indoor. And uh, yeah, I'm in the house, a sick ass bitch. Like how did I, how did Queen get left up at a bougie? Like let's be fucking for real. And y'all been looking like a slave inside of this apartment. Um, but I just put my bob wig on because this may be the wig that I'm gonna vibe out to for the rest of the week. But I got left out bad and bougie, and yeah, like I never, I never knew, I never knew that it would come to this. And I'm truly disappointed in myself. I'm disappointed, but I'd rather be in the house expelling my insides <laughs> rather than outside trying to figure it out. So. Sorry y'all, I got makeup all over. I haven't taken my makeup off yesterday. It's been a really long day. But in the meantime, God is a vibe. I'm so grateful that my friends are having fun for me. And I'm just gonna continue to stay in the house, hydrate. I haven't ate because my stomach is going crazy, but I have taken Pepto-Bismol. I've also taken some Zofran. I've taken azithromycin, which is an antibiotic. And I've also taken something else. Oh, my prednisone. Y'all know I had the allergic reaction a couple days ago. So I went ahead and took some more prednisone and yeah, just in the house on vibes. I've been on the phone with all my people that I've kind of been disconnected from in the States. So here we are. But I'm trying to pull it together. It's now currently, let's see what time it is. It's currently 3.38 and I'm thinking about popping out. Like, I think I feel better. I think I've, you know, taken my medicine. Everything's kind of calming down. So I don't know. Next couple of clips to let you know if I'm going out or not, but. We shall see. Bye, y'all. Where they? I'll bring you back something nice. <laughs> you can't put it. She said, "Are, are y'all having fun?" We were like, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. Look at like, like, the video. The like, video of me, I thought my butt was moving. Uh, look, it was not the video. <laughs> <laughs> Princess turned at the party. Everybody gasped up. Everybody was gasping. Everybody gasped up. All the niggas. Did her titty pop out? No, it didn't no, pop out. No, it was actually perfect. I'm the DJ. I'm the DJ. You're mad, huh? Bye, bitch. 
Bye. Look at her wait a minute. <laughs> 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 Make me proud please. Okay, I'll come back. Okay, yeah. look. What a deal is free for your business. <laughs> look, period. Oh, we got, we got, we got I shut. I guess for my business too. <laughs> I love y'all. Bye. Bye, bitch. Okay, guys. So I am back. Um, yeah, yesterday was kind of crazy. It was. I was fighting for my life, and my girls they held it down. We got her together. I'm only telling y'all this because I do not want y'all to have to go through the same thing. Bring fiber pills. Fiber, pepto -Bismo, yeah, all that. Imodium, azithromycin. Um, the food is a little different and it's yeah. spicy, spicy. So That's the thing. But I love get... spicy food, so one thing I'm gonna do is test it. But y'all, we were leaving the club at about 8 a.m. January 1st <laughs> to be exact. <laughs> Horrible way to stop. Oh my God, does awesome. that mean my year, I'm gonna have a shitty year? <laughs> oh That's no, crazy. No, you're not, no. Okay. We're I'm just not, getting all that out the way. Yeah, we're, we're removing all the shit. She got it all out the from, way. Yeah, 2023. It's gone now. Look, when I say y'all, I was so depressed in the house, like literally doing nothing. I was doing nothing in Ghana. Do you know how depressing that is? I did it once. When they went to Sip and Slay, which I don't know if. Oh yeah. Yeah, they went to Sip and Slay. I couldn't make it. I wasn't doing well as well. I was in a similar situation. So. Yeah. Oh, what? Really? That was the situation? I mean, it was coming out yeah. both ends. Mm. Y'all, we are having brunch today. Our private chef made all of this amazing food. Look at this, y'all. What do we do to deserve such a good life? Like an extra good life. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do to deserve such a good life? It's kind of crazy. Um, just be them girls. Them girls. Oh, 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 with Z. gratitude. Drag. Girls. Them. We them girls. We. <laughs> the E-M. G-U-R-L-Z. Drag it. Z-Z. -Z. How <laughs> many Z's you want? Drag it. Just drag the Z. <laughs> We are just overwhelmed with gratitude, y'all. <laughs> Africa, Ghana, like, we are treated like princess out, princesses out here, and I can't even unsee it. Like, I can't take anything less than this. Period. This is the standard. We this is the standard. Home. Ladies, we have to come home. We have All right. come home to Africa. <laughs> Literally, these hoes are leaving, these hoes are leaving tomorrow. Of princess and Nikki. So. Me and Hope will be continuing our adventures in Cape Town. We're getting our flights. Part two. Part two coming soon. They're gonna be holding it down for We Them Girls. <laughs> we Them Girls. Holding it down ENT. for We Them Girls. ENT. ENT. <laughs> now we might have some repeat outfits though, so. I don't have any more clothes, y'all. Yeah, we don't have no more clothes. So I'm gonna and have them all the stuff out here like that. That's so, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna have to hand wash there. them. <laughs> you gotta show Probably. up and look cute. That's it, that's all. <laughs> Hi.